So, this is the location of the Handi Bang. So, this is Arunachal Pradesh, right. So, on the north of Arunachal Pradesh, this black color, this black color is the Dihandi Bang Bias Reserve. Okay, so you can take the map. So, on the north of Arunachal Pradesh, we are having Dihandi Bang Bias Reserve. So, there are two core zones for this Dihandi Bang Bias Reserve. In left, you can mark. So, this will be Dihandi Bang Bias Reserve. You can mark like this. In Arunachal Pradesh, you can mark like this. Mark like this. And here you can mark two core zones. This one will be Mauling National Park, and here we will be having Dibang Wildlife Sanctuary. So, this Dihan Dibang Bias Reserve is located on the Mishmi Hills. So, Mishmi Hills is the hill range which is seen in the Arunachal Pradesh. So, on the Mishmi Hills, we are having the Handibang Bias Reserve. So, as part of Arunachal Pradesh, we just remember that Arunachal Pradesh we are having Mishmi Hills. So, like this, we will be having Mishmi Hills, and here we will be having Dafla Hills, and here we will be having Padkai Hills. So, just right now just remember that you will study it in the geography. So, Dafla Hills, Mishmi Hills, Padkai Hills. On the Mishmi Hills, we are having the Handibang Bias Reserve. Okay. So, on the Mishmi Hills, on the Mishmi Hills, we are having a Bias Reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. That is the Handibang Bias Reserve. And the core zone of the Handibang is Mauling and the Bang. Now, the river Brahmotra, which is called as in Tibetan region, it is called as Yarlang Sampo. So, Yarlang Sampo enters to India through the Handi Bang through the Mauling National Park. Okay. So, Mauling National Park, Siang River or the Hang River. Okay. So, through the Mauling National Park, so this was Mauling National Park. So, through the Mauling National Park, the river Siang is flowing. Through the Dibang Wildlife Sanctuary, Dibang River, and both will meet, and it will enter to Assam as Brahmotra. In CAP, all the environment topics which are relevant for the Prelims 2021 examination is covered in detail, so that you will not miss any question from environment part. We have also included the organization, the protected areas that were in use to give you a detailed understanding. To know more about CAP, please check on the link given in the description below. Why wait? Enroll to our current affairs program and ensure your seat in mains 2021. Right. Now, other protected areas in Arunachal Pradesh. This one, Nandafa. This one will be Nandafa, and here we are having Pakke Valley Sandri. So, Nandafa National Park. It is between. It is located between Padkai Hills and the Dafa Bam Range of Mishmi Hills. Okay, so here we have Mishmi Hills and here we have Padkai Hills. In between the Mishmi Hills and Padkai Hills, we are having in between Padkai Hills and Mishmi Hills, we are having Nandafa. Okay. So between Padkai Hills and Dafa Bam range of Mishmi Hills. Okay. So here we will be having Dafa Bam range of Mishmi Hills. In between Dafa Bam range of Mishmi Hills and Padkai Hills of we are having Nandafa National Park. And in Nandafa National Park, we are having a Endemic species called as Nandafa flying squirrel. Okay, so Nandafa flying squirrel, it is famous for it is located in the Nandafa National Park. Nandafa flying squirrel, it is a critically endangered category, Look, it is located in the Nandafa National Park. Then we are having in Arunachal Pradesh, we are having Pakke Wildlife Sanctuary, it is also tiger reserve. Through that, the Kamang River is flowing, Kamang we located. It was a tribute of. It was a tribute. Kamang was a tribute of Brahmotra, right? So Kamang River flows through Pakke Valley Sanctuary. It is a tribute of Brahmotra. Then Pakke Valley Sanctuary got the India Biodiversity Award 2016. Okay. Oh, 
sorry this one will be pak k and this one will be itanagar pak k itanagar so pak k got the india biodiversity award for the hornbill hornbill conservation they, they conducted the people in nearby the pakke wildlife sanctuary the community they conducted the uh, hornbill nest adoption program for this program india biodiversity award was given okay that's why it was a news and upc already asked a question regarding that also right now just know that india biodiversity award is a program by ministry of environment forest and climate change national biodiversity authority and united nations development program these three combinedly are conducting this india biodiversity award ministry of environment forest and climate change national biodiversity authority or nba united nations development program undp these three are combinedly conducting a program india biodiversity award then itanagar we are having a wildlife sanctuary so these are the protected areas in arunachal pradesh dihan dibang as part of dihan dibang we are having two core zone dibang wildlife sanctuary and maulik national park then in between mishmi hills and patka, patka hills we are having nandafa then to the south of that to the west of arunachal pradesh we are having pakke wildlife sanctuary and itanagar okay